Um, can we talk about the elephant in the room? I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. What will be the next James Bond's sexual preference? Is James Bond the next James Bond? Is he going to be gay? Do you think that it is even a possibility? I do. And I want to go just a little bit of a backstory here because I could read the room before No Time to Die. And I knew, and I think I've said this in an earlier video, I knew that they were going to kill James Bond. I knew he was dead. In fact, I, th I thought it was actually rather obvious. You know, some people were just like, oh, they wouldn't dare. I can't imagine. It seemed completely obvious to me. I knew they were going to kill him. Everything I was seeing and hearing, how the actors were talking about him, just how the mood was out there when it came to Bond, everything to me, anyway, everything pointed right to it. Bond was going to die. I'm having that same feeling about our next James Bond, um, about his sexual preference. Some may say, well, they've already been hinting at it for years, right? I mean, we've, we've had several examples of, of Bond movies touching on this subject. For example, um, Diamonds Are Forever. If God had wanted man to fly, he would have given him wings, Mr. Kid. I mean, here we have, we have two men. They're being portrayed as a couple. And what about Blofeld himself? Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Case. I'd so dreaded the prospect of making this tedious journey alone. So we see here Blofeld. He's, be, he's dressed as a woman. Now, did that affect Bond himself, however? One of this smells like a tart's handkerchief. I'm afraid it's me. Sorry about that, old boy. No. No, it didn't. That it didn't really affect Bond, um, and and who he was as a character. Um, how about way back in uh, "You Only Live Twice"? Russian vodka, well done. Yeah, I get it from the doorman at the Russian embassy, among certain other things. Okay. Yep. There's some strong implications here of, of this character here, but again, was this directed at Bond? No, this this was another character that Bond was meeting. How about now? How do you feel about me? I love you. I'm glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. Okay, that was directed at Bond, but come on, come on. It, it was just a code word. Let, let's get real, all right? All right, all right. Just a code word. You know, there's there's been other references such as uh, On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Take a look at this. But I think you do not like girls, Hilly. Usually I don't, but you're not usual. All right. Now, although this was stated at Bond, um, and you know, you, you hear his response, it, it wasn't to Bond himself, but rather someone else that he was pretending to be. And we all know in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, during that, that part of the movie, Bond definitely broke character a number of times. Well, how about Thunderball? Uh, we, see, we see another vague reference here in Thunderball. Ram Collins, Mr. Bond? Yes, just about that hour, isn't it? For you? Of course. Vargas does not drink, does not smoke. Does not make love. What do you do, Vargas? So, kind of, you know, yeah. What's uh, what's this man's kind of what you know? Is he a little 
different? Is, you know, just kind of, it's very vague, really, in this reference to this other individual. They're kind of like pointing at, oh, there's something different about this guy. Um, so after all these instances here of hinting, and some not really hinting, but they were, you know, pretty rather direct references, some may say, well, okay, well, this, this just leads, or, or this laid the groundwork for exploring Bond's sexuality, right? I mean, you know, who's to say he, he couldn't be gay? Um, but I don't believe it does. I don't believe any of that really laid the groundwork for that reasoning. I think these references, they just, they danced around the subject. They brought up a subject, um, but it was more about how, how it pertained to others that were, that were close to Bond, that were near Bond, but not Bond himself. However, the groundwork has been laid due to Skyfall. How you're trying to remember your training now? What's the regulation to cover this? Well, first time for everything, yes. What makes you think this is my first time? Oh, Mr. Bond. I mean, what makes you think this is my first time? This right here. The question has now been raised. The window has now been opened. Killing James Bond, it opened the window to a new actor or even a new actress, right? I mean, that was floating out there for quite a while. James Bond could, should uh, be a woman. Uh, so just by killing Bond, it it opened up all these windows of, okay, you know, we, we can change all kinds of things. But this scene opened the way for other considerations. And we know there's been lots of talk about it, right? There's been lots of talk about this, about what is uh, the possibility of Bond's sexual preference being changed. Well, I think the choice of actor is even going to give us a clue as to what their future plans are for Bond and how he's going to be portrayed. Now, some actors already have, they've put it out there that when they portray a character, they portray that character as a purist. They want to portray the character, especially if they're in writing, if they're in a comic book, or if, if they're in a book, they want to portray that character exactly as they are in writing. Now, there's other actors, and we know that they will just do whatever. They'll do whatever it takes to get them a role. So let's read the room. Let's read the room together. What does the current feeling out there seem to indicate to you um, as to what they're going to do with James Bond's character? What, what is the feeling in the room, so to speak? Uh, what are what are the whisperings? What are the leanings? Um, there, you know, it it does seem like there's there's a, a lot of leanings out there to do this. I think it's very likely that they will alter Bond's sexuality. Now that being said, I don't think that they're going to make James Bond gay. I don't think that that's what's going to happen. Now, here's the reason why I think this. I think it's because it would really limit the roles for actresses and the opportunity of being a Bond girl. And the reason why I feel like they won't want to change that is because that's still a pretty big deal right? It's still seen as, this is a big deal. It's quite an honor um, if you're an actress and they want you to be one of the next Bond girls. Um, that's a pretty big deal and, and honor. 
I don't think they're going to want to mess with that. And um, um, especially limiting actresses roles that they, that, that they can have, especially in bond movies. It's iconic to be a bond, a bond woman. But what I can totally see is glances, hints, subtle glances between Bond and another man being injected into the next movie. Enough to just make the audience question, hmm, did, did, did we see something there? Hey, did, did you see that? Is it possible? Do you think is Bond... You know, I mean, they they just want to raise that question. And um, they will most likely want to just leave that question up to the individual viewer. If you wanted to see it, then you did. If you don't want to believe it, then, oh, you know what? It doesn't really mean anything. It's just however you want to interpret uh, that scene. I think that that's what they're going to do. It's going to be subtle hints let people see what they want to see or not want to see. So I, I have a real feeling that that's kind of what the, the approach is going to be. And in the next movie, if it turns out, hey, you know, people are perfectly fine with it, well, then the next movie will we'll probably definitely take it all a step further. So it's, it's kind of interesting, though, isn't it, that this is a subject that few want to talk about. Um, there's a lot of politics uh, behind the subject as well. Um, but, um, but, you know, politics to the side and things like that that come into play with all of this, uh, I believe it becomes uncomfortable for a lot of people to talk about one way or the other is because it changes a character. And, that, and we've seen that happening with certain other movies that a, a character is being changed with and stuff. And it causes questions, it causes controversy. Um, this kind of a change, it would change a character from what has been established for decades, We're talking 70 years. Bond, he's known as a womanizer. That's, that's how he's been known for all of these decades. It's like, it's, it's kind of like trying to just, you, you know, you try to think of an iconic character to say, Hey, it's, it's kind of like changing this character. But really, Bond is that iconic character. If you were to look at him and say, well, that's like changing Bond. And, and you know, if, if they were to change this, that's like changing Bond to a whole different thing. Because he's that iconic. He's that well-established. So thinking about it, I'm not even sure that those who would want this change are actually even James Bond fans. Um, or they would suddenly say, oh, well, now that, that that Bond is like this, well, now now I can be a Bond fan. Th that doesn't make sense to me either, because there's all the previous movies that would be contrary. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe they would include something like that in the next Bond movie. But all the other movies previous to it are contrary to that. Now, I, I think that how it would be viewed as... Um, for those that would want that change, I think it would just be seen as, okay, we've, we've got a box here. We can check off that box. And now let's just move on to the next thing that we want to see happen. And they, and you know, they wouldn't become major bond fans. They just be like, okay, box checked. Let's move on. Uh, now we can say this. And that, and that would be it. It would, that, that would be the scope of the impact that they would feel about it. Meanwhile, in left behind, the fans, the purists, um, they would have had their character completely changed. And what would make it even harder is having your your our character so completely changed very shortly after having that same character just completely killed off entirely. So so he's been dead, but. But okay, now now we'll bring him back, but we're going to resurrect him and make these changes. Well, what would that do to the future of the franchise? You want to know something? I think we're actually going to see. 
thanks for tuning in and um, tell me tell me what you think um, about these possible changes that could be coming and um, uh, like I said you know this is like politics off to the side I'm not really bringing bringing any of those things up um, this is just an evaluation of a character and and um, you know is that is it possible that you can take an established character make these kinds of changes um, have it make sense or um, um, you know, such as does it fit the character and what would it do really what would it do to the to the franchise to the fans the purists um, and um, so yeah I appreciate your time here and uh, look forward to seeing if there's any any comments and uh, and controversy this uh, who knows this could make or break my channel <laughs> but uh, uh, I've only got a, a handful out there um, that have subscribed so uh, I'm not sure if, if uh, this will really have much of much effect uh, but I just I kind of felt like sharing because yeah reading the room yeah, this is this is kind of the feeling I'm getting uh, from reading the room we'll talk to you later thanks bye